welcome to the Ceramics Facility at Tropical North Queensland TAFE. Ceramics classes are taught as an elective area in both the Certificate 4 and Diploma in Visual Arts courses. Raku firing is a low fire technique that has its origins in Japan. Raku firing is used to introduce students to glazing and firing techniques. Many beautiful glazes and surface effects can be developed using the Raku technique. With experience, quality artworks can be produced and many artists specialise in Raku ceramics. The top hat Raku kiln is loaded with biscuit fired or previously fired to 1000 degrees glazed pots. The Raku glazes melt or mature at around 1000 degrees. The pots must be made of sandy Raku clay to withstand the thermal shock of the fast firing and quick cooling. The gas burner is lit and then turned back to a small flame that will be slowly increased over the one and a half hour firing. The top hat kiln is lowered over the setting. In the early stages the kiln is checked to ensure that the flame does not blow out. A nearby pit is prepared for a technique known as post firing reduction. Sawdusts and other combustible materials are placed in the pit. The glowing hot pots will be placed on the sawdust, instantly igniting it. When the lid is placed on the pit, the lack of oxygen in the pit can cause a dramatic colour change in the glazes and any unglazed area of clay will blacken with carbon. A pyrometer is used to help gauge the temperature. The kiln reaches its top temperature of 1020 degrees after approximately one to one and a half hours of firing. Long handled tongs and heat resistant gloves are used when drawing or extracting the hot pots from the kiln. The pits are opened ready to receive the hot pots and protective gear is worn. The gas is turned off and the top hat kiln is lifted exposing the glowing pots with molten glaze. The pieces are taken from the kiln and placed in the reduction pits. The sawdust and paper ignites. The flames can paint the pots with dramatic colours and luster. The lid is placed on the pit. Sometimes the pit is opened and additional combustible materials are added. After about 10 minutes in the pit, the pots are quenched in water. This freezes the glaze effects and cools the pots so that they can be cleaned. The water can become quite hot.
raw unglazed clay turns black and glazes can develop spectacular lustres.